What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be covering the SoFi stock. I've been throwing around price targets for the past year or so, a little bit longer term, about 2026, up to $45 price target. That is specifically going right in line with the management team's big bonuses that they have at the $25, $35, and $45 level. The CEO, Anthony Noto, will have you know total gains of around $290 million in bonuses if you can achieve the $45 level. Guys, that was what I predicted was going to happen prior to SoFi entering a new business segment, and that is the loan platform business, which we're going to be covering in today's video. Everything prior to getting to that $45 price target was just how the SoFi business model was flowing each and every single quarter with the you know 17 out of 19 you know triple beats potentially seeing the Galileo Tech platform add one to two legacy banking institutions over the next couple of years which I believe they are going to accomplish that very soon. This is a new entirely fee based revenue guys capital light no risk to the balance sheet and I believe SoFi has been working on this for a year behind the scenes before they officially wanted to you know roll this out to you know other institutions. And I'm telling you right now, this is a massive, massive move that SoFi has made. And it has definitely changed, you know, all of my predictions on, you know, how big this could truly be. Prior, I was at about 98 cents, 2026 EPS, which is right around a billion dollars in net income profitability. But guys, with this, you know, loan platform business getting off the ground in Q3 2024, you know, last quarter, we're going to see how this thing can really play out in Q4 in 2025. And then you have the entire year of 2026. We're going to look at the numbers, guys, and show you how big this could truly be. But I think there's opportunity for SoFi to get into the $1.50 EPS range if this thing truly plays out you know, to the maximum capability that it can. You know, we're looking at a price target of around $75 you know, easily because SoFi continues to diversify away from the legacy balance sheet lending model, which they have also seen declines every single year as a percentage of revenue for the past four years. I will be showing you a chart on that in today's video. So guys, be ready to you know see the massive innovation that SoFi is you know adopting inside of this video. This is a very, very you know serious you know business model that they got into and it can lead to massive, massive you know multiple expansion. And you're already seeing that right now because we already had the loan platform business in action in Q3, $42 million in fees straight to the bottom line, guys. This is what we're talking about of becoming a tech company, a fintech, a technology online digital bank. And SoFi continues to diversify revenue streams, guys. And I'm telling you right now, there's opportunity for a potential $75 price target inside of 2026. We're talking about 1.5 billion profit. Just look at a company like New Bank, you know, pulling a billion dollar profit last year and, you know, company easily eclipsed 50 to 60 billion market cap. I'm telling you right now, everything is going to slingshot all at once and, you know, you're going to be paid out handsomely if you continue to follow the company and the fundamentals don't change. And right now, the company and management team is navigating to further diversify away from lending, making more revenue streams, more fee-based revenue, becoming a tech company. Guys, this is the Gram Slam. I'm very excited. Be sure to smash the like button, drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be keeping you updated daily on all the breaking news with the SoFi stock. Let's try and get the video to 1,500 likes. Let's get into it. All right, guys, after you watch this video, if you want a you know in-depth analysis on you know every single part of the uh, loan platform business, all the segments, be sure to take a look at Data Driven Investing's you know uh, Substack. You can find this on his Twitter at Data Driven Investing, and you know you can do a deeper dive inside of that. A lot of the stuff we're covering inside this video is inside of the Substack you know article right here, and I just want as many people to see this as possible, and that's why I'm doing this video for you today. All right, guys. Before we get into the video, remember what I was saying a couple of videos ago? I don't know how long it was ago, maybe two, three, four weeks, and we had analyst projections out at 2.8 billion in revenue right here 2025 you can see these guys have already up guys i was at you know 3.3 billion in revenue prior to them even entering the loan platform business just going off of the you know original business segments that they had right now and a little bit of acceleration inside of a uh, galileo Technologies. so i'm telling you right now these analysts are still asleep behind the wheel i don't know if it's you know incompetence i don't know if it's um fraud i don't know what is going on with these guys but i'm telling you right now these guys are way behind what SoFi is about to do inside of 2025. 
and I could see this stock easily clearing $30 next year. All right, guys, if you want to get a good grasp on the uh, loan platform business, the first thing that you should be looking at is what SoFi just does on its own as a company off of its, you know, a balance sheet, you know, risk lending. Just look at the most recent quarter personal loan originations right here, guys. Just know that they're doing about $5 billion in personal loan originations on their own, okay? That's just a good starting point to understand, you know, what type of level, you know, SoFi is operating right now at the uh, personal, you know, loan uh, segment. All right, guys, here we go. This is game time. This is what we're talking about today. I'm honestly thinking, you know, SoFi could easily explode to $75 if this, you know, segment really works out over the next, you know, eight quarters or so, okay? Right now, SoFi is turning down 80% of its personal loan originations, okay? So SoFi has to deny 80% of these people because they don't meet the credit box, which I believe is around 150 to 180,000. We're talking about minimum like 750 FICO scores right now, okay? So in Q3 2024, SoFi originated $4.9 billion in personal loan originations. If you do that on an annual you know, uh, consensus, you're looking at about $20 billion in annual personal loan originations guys okay so right now SoFi is pretty big you know smashing lending club smashing upstart on you know just personal loan originations but understand SoFi was willing to put the top 20 percent cream of the crop on their balance sheet because of the you know default risk managing capital ratios they were happy with just going after the top 20 percent the cream of the crop okay denying 80 percent okay now understand SoFi also out of those you know 80 percent of personal loan originations that they deny uh, they get a referral fee for lead generation on lower qualified borrowers. So maybe not a 750 to 800. Maybe we're talking a 650 to 750, you know, personal loan score or also, you know, income of, you know, 80 to $140,000. Okay. Not exactly what SoFi wants to put on their balance sheet as a company, you know, just risk tolerance. You know, SoFi wants the cream of the crop. Understand the loan platform business did $1 billion in originations inside of Q3, guys. So, SoFi is doing about $5 billion. So, already, the loan platform business did about 20% of originations compared to SoFi's own, you know, lending balance sheet risk uh, type of, you know, personal loan lending, okay? In Q3, the loan platform, you know, had $55.6 million in fees, okay? $13.3 million was from lead referrals, you know, the other leads that they just, you know, refer right to, you know, another company. But $42.4 million in revenue was from the loan platform product, which had a 4.2% gain on sale margin. So understand this $1 billion in originations was, you know, loans that SoFi selected and originated on their own, you know, putting the terms, you know, going after the credit box that, uh, you know, fit this category for a company like Fortress who put up $2 billion of their own capital. So guys, this is, you know, just fee-based revenue, okay? 4% on the uh, $1 billion just straight to the, you know, bottom line basically, okay? For the loan platform business originations, they did $1 billion in Q3. During the Q3 earnings, Jeff Adelson from Morgan Stanley asked, about you know what to expect from the loan platform business origination volumes and gave a range between four to six billion as a question. The CFO Crystal Point said we have that two billion dollar agreement with Fortress as well as commitments for Q4 and 2025 with several other partners. So guys, you could be expecting another massive announcement of another partner for another one to two to four billion dollar you know, loan platform business origination deal, okay? And that's going to get your stock ripping up immediately just off of the announcement, okay? Because that uh, deal with uh, Fortress, the stock was up 10% just going off of that, you know, fee-based revenue, that capital light. So guys, this is huge, okay? Q4, other partners, you know, other, you know, demands. This is crazy. The outlook is pretty significant as we go into 2025 in excess of what you articulated. So guys, we could be looking at a minimum, you know, what we just did in Q3, $4 billion, and then a top line, maybe $8 billion in annual originations for 2025. So, guys, just going off of that gain of sale margin, 4.2%, we're looking at $168 million to $336 million in fee-based revenue. Guys, you did see the analysts, you know, bumped up their predictions about $200 million. Um, you know, that's like the low end of what this loan platform business could do. Okay. Just going off of the 1 billion in originations, we got 168 million. So 
they could be off an additional, you know, 100, 200 million dollars if the top line gets even bigger than 8 billion in origination. So, guys, this is huge, okay? Imagine if we do hit the uh, 2 billion a quarter, we're looking at 336 million fee based revenue in 2025, okay? There is an opportunity for SoFi to potentially grow at the 35 to 40 percent range inside of 2025. This is going to be faster than 98 percent of SaaS companies. Uh, cybersecurity companies inside of the market we are making up our own sector is what i continue to tell people okay so guys this is absolutely insane so basically what sofi is doing is they're going from denying 80 percent to denying like 75 percent so they're basically taking that five percent and originating it on their own on behalf of other clients you know two billion dollar agreement okay so capital light no risk to the balance sheet that's what they're doing they're dropping it from 80% of denying to 75% denying and taking that 5% and repackaging it to other clients. Guys, this is money, okay? This is huge. What if it grows to the same size of SoFi's own personal loan originations on their balance sheet of 20 billion? Guys, we're looking at a monster grand slam. And if this is, you know, what we're looking at for 2025 of 336 million in revenue and we get a double to 700 million in revenue, guys, that is what I'm talking about where we could potentially see $75 on the stock price 1.5 billion in profits we're looking at about a dollar 50 eps and as you guys can see this is the chart that could send sofi to 75 dollars in 2026 pure balance sheet lending risk continues to decline exactly what the loan platform business is bringing it's lowering their uh you know risk off of their balance sheet while still growing revenue fee-based revenue the loan platform business and galileo acceleration guys this entire video had nothing to do with galileo if galileo does land one to two legacy bank top 10 whales i mean the sky is honestly the limit for SoFi over the next two, three years. This could send legacy lending segment down to 33% of overall revenue. That was always SoFi's long-term goal over the next three years. This would complete the vision of a fully hybrid online digital finance tech company. Okay, so take a look, guys. This is SoFi's overall revenue right here over the last five years. The lending revenue and the lending percentage of overall revenue. You can see, you know, revenue has grown all the way from $600 million to 2.6 billion the lending revenue has grown 500 million to 1.5 billion is what might estimate it for uh, 2024 but you can see the lending pure balance sheet risk has declined okay because of you know financial services exploding all across the board 86 76 72 percent 64 percent 58 percent and this loan platform business is going to cause this number to decline even faster okay away from the balance sheet okay more fee-based revenue if we get down to the 33 percent level over the next two, three years, guys, I mean, we are looking at a $75 stock easily, okay? A billion and a half in profit, that just gives us the exact same, you know, P ratio I put on the video yesterday of a 50X, okay? I'm telling you right now, SoFi is doing everything right. These guys are going for the bonuses, $45 per share, and I'm telling you right now, we are looking at a grand slam 2025, guys. This is the year to be inside of SoFi stock. If you made it to the end of the video, I want to say I really do appreciate it. I enjoy doing these videos for you. Once again, be sure to smash the like button. Let's try and get the video to 1,500 likes. Be sure to drop a comment. What do you think about the loan platform business? Risk diversifying away from the uh, lending business of pure balance sheet risk. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be keeping you updated daily. Let's try and get the channel past 25,000 subscribers. Once again, my name is Kyle. Hope you have a great day.